Hello singles. We're here to take a look at three different situations, all of which could apply to you, um, or none of them, or one of them, or two of them. So um, take a look. I try to make this relatively short so that you can take a look at all of them and judge for yourself which ones end up being relevant for your day today. So we're going to look at the situation and then we're going to have an extra card of advice. Oh my goodness, the, the jackalope. <laughs> this is something odd and unexpected. All right, it could also be somebody giving you a tall tale. Um, this is a card that is only in this particular tarot deck. It's not normally in a tarot deck and it's not replacing a card in a tarot deck. It's an extra one in this deck. Um, and the jackalope is a, a mythical creature that was invented by a taxidermist and then kind of made famous as a, a mythical beast roaming the American West. So, um, so there you go. You might encounter a mythical beast, which could be, you know, it could be your ideal romantic partner, or it could be some kind of tall tale that you encounter. Uh, so let's take a look at the advice. And our advice is the King of Cups, so it could very well be um, your Prince Charming, your mythical Prince Charming showing up today. Let me take a closer look at this card, it's a little, and he's riding in on a swan, no less. So a devoted person. I wonder also if um, there's somebody who has never given you flowers before. You've been in a relationship with them for a while. They've never given you flowers and boom, they send flowers to your workplace <laughs> out of the blue. Um, you know, and you may never have had somebody send flowers to your workplace. So, um, or again, it could be Prince Charming uh, floating in or a, a great partner showing up for you. Um, so great energy for today. Um, not, not your typical Thursday. So, Next, ah, here's somebody who's in a great deal of sorrow, who's really regretting something. So, um, yep, has regretted some choices. Now you have two cups overturned and you have three cups upright. So, this person could be just sort of in a, in a dramatic mood, in a low mood. In other words, there could be other things going on in their life where, you know, a straw breaks the emotional back, you know? Um, so let's see what the advice is. See if you're supposed to give this person space or, or send them sympathy or what. And here we have the Six of Swords. That would be giving them space. If you've had an argument, um, somebody could be mulling over the emotional implications of that argument. The Six of Swords is about putting the swords down. No attack. You're letting it ride. You're departing. You're leaving the swords behind. You don't want any more arguments. So this is kind of both, pe both people piecing out. This person is evaluating, as I said, the emotional implications of the situation. And this person is give, giving them space. It's like, I, I'm just not into any of the arguments, regardless of your regrets later. I'm not into the, the arguments anymore, the conflicts. And here we have the Knight of Swords, who is somebody who comes rushing in. Um, they have a mission. This is a person with a mission. Um, if you are their mission, they could still be annoying. You know, most people don't want to be approached with this kind of energy. Um, if it's an X with an ax to grind, again, you know, you don't want to entertain that energy. Let's see what our advice is. Ten of Pentacles. To me, this is saying if somebody's coming at you with kind of an aggressive attitude and not necessarily dangerously aggressive, but um, 
I feel like this is somebody who maybe is wanting to cut you down, not physically cut you down, but mentally cut you down, insult you, um, bring you down to their level, um, something like that. The Ten of Pentacles means that you stand tall. You stand tall and you're you just say, I'm, I'm set. I, I don't have any reason to engage with this. I'm good. Um, it could also indicate referring to family or established structures. Um, you know, if you, if you have somebody like, again, an, an ex or somebody who's pestering you, um, and you're better off hanging out with family or calling family, um, to help you with the situation. That is indicated by the Ten of Pentacles. Um, but I think a lot of it is just showing this person that you have the means with the Ten of Pentacles. You're financially stable. And they're, they're not going to knock you off out of your stability. You're way too stable. They, they just, they kind of don't, they don't have a chance and they don't realize it. <laughs> so just kind of stay in your stability. Don't let them upset you and um, kind of go your own way. Yep, don't let anybody upset you. You're, you're perfectly stable. All right, that's your energy for today. And uh, I hope it does help you as situations arise and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.